Hey guys, Eric Peacock here, Pure Beauty Fitness. Uh, just a quick Facebook Live I want to talk about. This is something I always try to do these about based on what I'm seeing a lot of times. And one of the things I see a lot is people, they trade out their work for their health. And there's a saying out there that says, don't lose your health to get your wealth because you're going to lose your wealth to regain your health. And I just pulled up some figures before doing this Facebook Live. 66.5% of bankruptcies come from medical bills, from people just getting overwhelmed with medical bills. And we know with the high deductible insurance plans that are out there today, it's really easy for those things to stack up and you can get under, uh, you know, get behind on your finances from medical bills. Number one reason for bankruptcy. And a lot of medical problems can be, you know, just taking a little bit of extra care of yourself on a, cons on a consistent basis. And, uh, you know, 80% of Americans right now are dealing with low back pain. And low back pain, in my opinion, a lot of times is just a it's a it's weakness and tightness that, that that lead to low back pain. It's not all of a sudden one day you have a bad low back. A lot of times it becomes, you know, just a series of of neglect or bad habits over time that lead to breakdown around your back or on your spine. And so having a bad back is a result of choices you did or didn't make, typically. And that low back pain costs Americans a hundred billion dollars annually. And two thirds of that hundred billion dollars is due to lost wages and productivity. So, so there's a there's a big loss of wealth there due to a back injury. A quarter of all the deaths in this country are caused by cardiovascular disease. Now we can't fix genetics, but there's a lot of lifestyle factors we can fix. And then one in ten of Americans struggle with depression. How productive are you as an employee or as a business owner if you have depression? And exercise has been proven to be just as effective, if not more effective, than antidepressants, according to the Mayo Clinic. And a Harvard and the Harvard Health. So, my point is, is a lot of people I see, and I hear, I see clients sometimes cancel because they have work, they have to, they put all their their life into their business, and their business sucks the life out of them. And I think about my client I used to have named Don. He spent his whole life building up this awesome business, and he had lots of money, and he had this great tan, great plan for retirement because the whole time he sat and neglected his health. He, by the time he sold his business and retired and was going to really, really enjoy life, his health was in the crapper. He had diabetes, he was obese, and within a year he was on oxygen, and within that next year after that he died. So, you know, my point was, point of this is, is I see people talk about all the time, well, I'm going to blow my workout off because i got to work late, or I've got a deal i got to close. I've got work stuff to do. Work, 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 work. Once your health's gone, guys, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's going to cost you a lot of more money than you can make with your work. Medical bills are not cheap, as we know. Some of us might know. Um, I know my mom, when she went into the hospital for her stroke, it was a seven-figure bill because she spent six weeks in the hospital. Seven figures, guys. So my point is not becoming a gym rat, getting in the gym at least two times a week to do strength training, doing three times a week of some cardiovascular training. That's five times a week. <clears throat> strength training can be done at 30 minute intervals so we're talking an hour a week of strength training and we're talking 30 minute intervals of cardio so we're talking out of your whole work week which you probably spend 50 60 hours of work can you carve out three days a week to do 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercise and two days a week to do 30 minutes of of strength exercise we're talking about two and a half hours out of your week that can make a difference in your life and then taking another 10 minutes a day to do some flexibility and mobility exercises. So we're talking about another 70 minutes. So we're talking about three and a half hours a week to make a whole difference in your life, along with working on getting 10,000 steps in which you can incorporate into your workday. These things are, are huge. And we can't even, I won't even talk about nutrition because when we're stressed out, when we're working all the time, typically the nutrition goes by the wayside too. We're making bad choices. We're skipping meals. We're eating out a lot. And that can contribute to the practice too. So point of this Facebook Live is just kind of to raise the warning flag because I see a lot of Americans doing this and by the time they actually get to take action, it's a real hard uphill battle. So take action now. Don't, don't sacrifice your health to get wealth because you're going to, I guarantee you're going to lose that wealth to regain that health. You know, once there, you cannot put a price on good health because what's the sense of having lots of money and having a good business if you feel like crap and your quality of life sucks? So if you're at this point now where you feel like, man, I'm working so much, I'm, I'm stressed out, I'm not doing healthy things, but I don't know where to begin, send me a, a direct message or write help me in the comments below and I'll, I'll reach out to you. We have some great programs that are very 
easy to incorporate into a busy schedule. We have a lot of busy people that have successful businesses and big time jobs and busy schedules. We specialize in that. That's why we have personal training. If we didn't need it, there wouldn't be any. And accountability and structure is what most people need. So definitely shoot me a DM. That's my point. Take care of your health and protect your wealth.